It's what we have just learned after a deadly plane crash in the Northeast. At least seven people dead tonight. Smoke and flames could be seen for miles. It was a World War II bomber carrying sightseers and had taken off from the second busiest airport in New England. Tonight, what the pilot said moments after takeoff, right before the plane then slammed into a warehouse. It all happened in Hartford, and ABC's Witt Johnson is on the scene in Connecticut tonight. The deadly crash rocking Bradley International Airport in Hartford just before 10 a.m. B-17 has crashed. Fire is seen. No other information is available. Said a B-17 aircraft has crashed. A vintage World War II-era B-17 bomber crashing as it tried to land just after takeoff, slamming into a de-icing warehouse, the plume of black smoke visible for miles. I said, hey, that plane is going, I said, it's not lined up with the runway. I said, it's going to crash. Multiple fatalities and at least six injured taken to local hospitals, including two firefighters and a member of the Connecticut Air National Guard. Of the 13 on the plane, 10 were passengers who uh, paid to take the ride, and there were three um, folks, um, aircraft um, crew. And there was another person on the ground in the warehouse. According to FlightAware, the aircraft departed Bradley International at 9.48 a.m. Eastern, reached an altitude of about 800 feet, but only two minutes later, pilots telling the tower they had a problem. And what's the reason for coming back? We got number four engine. We'd like to return blow it out. I commented to my associate who was waiting with me that the, uh, he had just lost an engine. And then you could hear it sputtering and he wasn't climbing anymore. The bomber, built in 1944, just one of 18 that remain, was part of an educational tour across the country, offering flights to civilians. This airplane was not just old, it was ancient. And so it's a real question for the FAA. How old is too old? With Johnson with us live tonight from Bradley International Airport. And Witt, as you're learning tonight, there was another incident involving this plane several years ago. David, that's right. In 1987, this same plane overran a runway while trying to land in Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. Twelve people were on board, three people injured in that incident. As for this crash, the NTSB has a go team on the ground right now investigating the cause. David. All right, Witt Johnson leading us off tonight. Witt, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.